Welcome back everybody. We're finally back after our trip. Picked up this pallet here. This is one of the six I said that I was under uh, contract for. This pallet here was uh, $1,124.35, not including the gas to pick it up. It, unfortunately right now is $1.30 a liter almost. So you might as well say it cost me $2,000. No. Uh, you know what, got a lot of stuff here. Kind of running out of room where I'm going to put all this stuff, but let's get at her and uh, let's see if we can get anything good out of this. So, start off with, which is a score, Makita Sawzaw. Really happy with that. It's brand new, sticker still on it. Surprised it's not in a box, but you know what? Nonetheless, really good find, and I'll take 20 of them. We'd love to get 20 of those. Okay. Do some of this stuff so I can uh, move. Oh, oh, don't forget, got my Tim's. Just so you know, I'm not sponsored by Tim Hortons, but I'm not against it. So, if anybody's listening, here we go. So, let's start off with Easy Connection HP NV5055. This is, uh, I just looked into it, it's a photo printer. So uh, I guess for photography, uh, you print it out on that special paper. Brand new, nicely sealed, absolutely beautiful. Uh, let's get some of these smaller ones here. I don't know what this is, let's see. Hope everybody's doing, doing good these days. I don't know, we have these rolling lockdowns. One week you're locked down, next week you're open, then they're shutting down a different part. I can't wait till this vaccine rolls out and everybody can just do what they want to do. Okay, that's a uh, huh. little odd. It looks like it's part of a, a some kind of a lighting system. All right, I don't know if it's, uh, if that's just it, or is it it's kind of weird? Uh, I'll have to dig into something like that. Oh, that's kind of weird. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, three, put the lights here. This is this is metal, so there's three of them, and then there's there is two more in there. So I'll have to, it must be some kind of funky design lighting. It's good, good note. Uh, we're diving into that later. Okay, another one. Mystery box. Ooh, I like mystery boxes. I'm not, I'm not, not a fan on how it's taped, but I do like mystery boxes. Yeah, that's why I generally don't like how it's taped. Kind of, uh, just throwing in here. Not sure, healthy living. Not sure exactly what it is. It is a ninja. I guess it's a ninja blend. Uh, ninja blender. Oh, it's it's a heavy sucker. Holy smokes, man. Um, it's definitely not the original packaging. Uh, I'm not sure if it was uh, if it happened to be a store model and uh, when they were vacating everything, uh, they just kind of threw it in any box they found. And it happened to go in this one. Uh, if you look at it, you know, there's not, a, there's not a, doesn't seem to be any wear on it at all. So, no wear at all. So we'll have to take a better look into that. Because that could be, uh, even though it doesn't have its original box, seems to be a really nice one. Uh, should be an easy sell. Okay, let me put that there. Just trying to do this and then I'll pile stuff back on here. So I'll show you guys this right now. It is 32 inch smart TV TSL. I'm not sure of that brand. I think that's uh, it's one of uh, the big stores brand. It's just their generic brand. Let's see if it's uh, see if it's in here. So it's uh, it's all there, friends. 32 inch TV you know something like this most people aren't watching TVs on 32 inch but the good thing about these 
is, uh, well, 32, good for the kids' room. If not, you can hook it up and you have a 32-inch monitor for your TV. I mean, for your computer. So, either way, it will sell. It's a win-win. There we go. So, I'm going to pile stuff back on here so you guys can see some stuff. We have a, a Comdu air fryer. I uh, wasn't aware of this brand. I actually just looked it up as I was pulling it off of the truck. And it retails for $220 plus tax. So quite surprising. Um, it looks like a really nice one. This one here actually will hold a turkey. So yeah, it's one of those things. I don't know. Do you, do you keep it or sell it? I don't know. I kind of like this stuff. So we have that there. I'm gonna block myself in. It's only cool. We can bring this up. Ugh. And then we can find out what's in this. Another uh, another mystery box because I don't see uh, I don't see anything on it. So let's take a look. Looks like original uh, original tape. Absolutely, I think it's original tape. So, uh, yeah, there we go. It's new. Double check on this side. So, I'm going to tell you guys a little secret. On new products, it's called the cardboard test. The cardboard test is when you do this, and it's stiff, and it won't go back from the crease on both sides. That's how you know uh, you know a product is new, is because if somebody's opened it up quite a few times, this will go back and then the crease breaks like that. So it's called the cardboard test and it bounces back. See now, it won't, see how it won't bounce back now? Because I broke the crease. Unless it was open from the other side. Okay, what is this? Operation instruction folding stand. I'm not sure. Hmm, I'm not sure at all. Everything's in the boxes. Metal. I'm not sure. It must. It must hold. A lever switch left, right by G25. I'm gonna have to do some more research. And here's a picture of. Uh, here's a picture of what it is. I have uh, no no clue at this present moment what it is, but it's all there, and it's heavy. So. Bring this up. Whoa, another heavy one. Uh, so we have. Let's get some uh, Omega Nutrition System. Is it a juicer? Yeah, it's a juicer, everybody. So check into that. It's a. Uh, it's a heavy. It's heavy too. Really heavy. Heavy duty juicer used to be a big fad years ago, the juicing. I think people are getting, you know what, healthy living, you have to start doing this stuff. This beautifully packed, spick and span, nice, I like that. If anybody needs a juicer, I am here, because this is a heavy, this is a heavy duty juicer. Really heavy duty. So, put that back. Nice, I'm happy with that, that's good. Getting a lot of, uh, a lot of nice stuff, a lot of appliance, small appliances in this one here. Just so you hear, it's back here. Uh, this is one of the two objects I knew that was on the pallet. I took a sneak peek and I, uh, I checked into this. I've already looked into it, it's all brand new in the package. This is a Dell. Um, Dell Ultra Sharp 24 inch monitor. It's not just a 20, I mean, it is just a 24 inch, but this model here, I guess it's only 720p, which is astounding. It's not 4K or anything, but it sells for really good money for the picture and contrast and everything that it gives. Uh, I looked into it, and the cheapest I can find it is from Dell themselves. 
for $320 plus tax and then a few other places, Amazon might be another 10 or $15. So this is one of the reasons I had bought the palette and I'll show you the other one when I get to it. And then everything else is kind of a, it's a surprise to me. They are not manifested, so you don't know what you're getting. Uh, again, this here, not expecting. A uh, 22 inch touchscreen, oh, touchscreen, LCD. Okay, so a touch screen. Well, who knew? Nice. Take a, take a fast peek. Just, uh, you know. Alright, you know what? It's all nicely there. We'll have to take it out, make sure everything works. But it's all, it's nicely packaged. I will have a touch screen, so that's, uh, that's always good to have. The only thing that would be really nice to have is uh, more room. This here, might as well show you that while it's sitting on there, Honeywell Turbo Force Fan. Not a great item, but if somebody wants it, sell it for the $10. Somebody had thrown back an HP printer. It's, uh, I'm going to tell you something, if it's not coming in its original box, and even if it is coming in, it, in its original box, 50-50, they don't work. When they sent back like this, I'm not even going to test it uh, because printers don't get a lot of money unless uh, for the other one it's, it's you know specific for photos. But the, these here, they're, they're garbage. I won't even waste my time. Bissell, Aero Swift Turbo, upright bagless. Packaging isn't the nicest, but We'll see, I'm not sure, I'll have to take a look. You'll know right away if it has been used as soon as you take it out of the box. So, not sure if uh, if it works. If it works uh, and it has been used, the best I can do is clean it up really good and you know sell it as used. Somebody, no matter what, for $30 can always use another vacuum. There's a lot of people out there that could use one that don't have a lot of money, so that's good for them. And this was upside down, broken here in the box. It's, uh, it has been heavily, he heavily used because it's uh, one of those products, if you're gonna send it back, I always say, come on, you know, at least clean it. There's, there's grease all over it. I'm not even gonna see if it works. I really don't care if it works. For something like that, I'm probably, you know, I'm probably just gonna throw it out. Very light mystery box. I like mystery boxes. Sometimes mystery boxes are uh, nice little presents. And sometimes they're not. Okay, sit open up here. Oh, you know what's brand new? There's that uh, cardboard test. Oh, that, but it was open down there. So that's why this is upside down. So what I'm gonna do is, let me uh, do that and then I'll open the other end. So, because it says open, so whoever opened it did open it upside down. And you can tell this was visually opened already. Okay, it's a light. Or, that's kind of funky. So it's a hand switch. Oh, okay. It's a uh, it's a light for a desk. That's pretty cool. It's wrapped up nice and everything. So uh, nice LED light. Check that out. Plug that in. I'm pretty sure this works um, just by the how the cords wrapped up and everything. Still, that's pretty cool. Somebody will love to have that for their desk. Let's see if I can get it back in. Holy smokes. Okay. Alright. See if you notice, it goes in a specific way with the, the styrofoam. So let me put that there. That's a good find. So, so far, we're getting some really nice stuff here. 
Uh, I guess now we just have to make sure it's all, all in good condition, it all works. Again, I'm not sponsored by Tim Hortons, but again, I'm not against it. All right, ah, holy smokes. Staples, staples, does it open this? I wonder if it's open on the bottom, staples. Okay. Sure, it wasn't open down there. And then the staples there. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna open it upside down because I don't want to pull the. What is it? Okay. Well, it has been opened. Whatever it is, I think. Kind of hard to tell. It's uh, a heavy duty piece of equipment, whatever it is. Anybody know? Let's see here. It is a power inverter M2524 Tundra. Okay, it's a power inverter. It looks all brand new because here's I'm going to say this is the cords. And uh, it's not even out. So as soon as you rip this bubble mailer, uh, you can't put it back the way. So I know it's never been used. Um, let's take a take a fast look. Get some of these. Let's see what this is. What, let's see what it kind of retails for. Tundra. Twenty five hundred watt. Wow. Uh, I guess I'll have to double check the. I mean, the cords are in there. That's crazy. Um, this is coming up at six hundred and seventy dollars plus tax for this power inverter. Uh, that's absolutely insane. That is a fantastic, fantastic find. Wow. Uh, I'm impressed. Six hundred and seventy dollars. Unbelievable. Uh, let me put this back in. Move some of that stuff there. there Make sure. Okay, so that started when came out. Not sure. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. That's insane. That's absolutely insane you know so that one underneath i'll put that back under there what a what a great find power of her I, mean, I wish i could use it i mean stuff like that i wouldn't mind keeping but i have to make some money back from these what a beautiful find holy smokes that's crazy okay we have uh kitchen aid Let's see. Let's see. Food processor, seven cups. Okay, we'll take a we'll take a dive into that later. Seven cup food processor, and I have another one right here. So I have two of them, and I have another. If you watched uh, any of my other shows, I had a one of these in Sky food processors already. Just gonna double check this. There you go. There's the there's the recipe book. Oh yeah it's all it's all spick and span. Wow beautiful. They're on sale right now. Um, they're a hundred and I think they're like a I think they're 150, 100, 150 dollars, but you can get 30 dollars or 25 dollars off right now on Amazon. But they're either way, it's a good find. And beautiful. I just uh, have like uh, four of them now, so hopefully I can start selling them. Exercise peddler digital display. 
this is one of those you, you put underneath your desk at work or at home and you just uh, pedal your feet. You know, little exercise thing. Especially right now, I mean, I could use a lot of exercise, which I'm not getting. There's the other two processor, red in color, seven cup, and, oh, does this sit here? Did I open this one? No. So we have another 24 inch LED display. Double check, a little funky tape job on here. See, a lot of people have to realize that in, in some of these pallets, what you're getting are uh, the store displays sometimes. So the returns, they're new. This is this looks brand new, the way it's all packaged up. I can see the, the feet and everything here. So I'll have to take again, take a better look into it, plug it in just to verify everything works. And, uh, well, it's a lot of monitors today. I'm happy with that. I have... Two products left. So, actually, I have three products left. I have one in my truck still that I didn't get out. Uh, because I have another one in here. I have this here. This is a Philips extra, extra large air fryer. This is uh, voted. Uh, one of the number one air fryers on the market at the present time, 2020, 2021. Um, the only other one that comes, uh, that competes with this for uh, usability is the Kasori air fryer. That's rated number one by a lot of people too. Th uh, it's at a lower lower price point, so it makes a, has a lot of features and which makes the Kasori really well. This one here, a lot of people love it, but it's higher end. These ones will go for $250 easy, especially the extra, extra large where, I mean, you could basically stick a turkey in this one as well. So you have that, good find. And last but not least, this here, and I have, just determining what end I should open up to show you guys. It's light. This is one of the products that I initially had purchased this pallet for. I had seen the Dell monitor. Uh, I knew the value of it. And this here, there is two of them. Hopefully it's all good. There is two of them. So what I'm gonna do is I don't know if I'm gonna get this out for you guys or not. Come on, I'm gonna lift it up. Let me move my coffee, and I'll show you what's in here. Again, it's gonna be for uh, a specific buyer, but they are out there. So that's why I had picked it up. I I know I'm gonna have to sit on these until next year, but that's okay. They are the Yukon Hammerhead Pro. HD sleds. So if you take a look at that, they're made out of aluminum. Very, very, I could pick this up with my baby finger. Their straps go on the back. This is almost like a racing sled. So again, it's, uh, it's for somebody that is looking for, uh, you know, something at this caliber. Uh, they're not cheap. This, re this retails for $450 plus tax for a sled. That's a lot of money. But uh, yeah, I have two of them. I'll hang on to them and uh, we'll get rid of them next winter. So that's it. Really happy. Fantastic. Uh, until next time, see you later.